Today I will read the story, The Ant and the Dove. It was a hot day in summer and the little ant had been working hard in the sun. She was desperate for a nice cool drink of water. She searched and searched for a pond or stream, but she couldn't find one anywhere. The further little ant walked, the thirstier she became. I hope I find something to drink soon, she thought. Then she lifted her head and listened. I can hear bubbling water, she cried. And with a new spring in her step, she hurried towards it. Wasn't long before she came to a fast flowing river. Little ant stopped on the bank and gazed joyfully at the water. Now I can drink and drink and never be thirsty again, she said to herself. Little Ant was so excited, she scurried down the bank to the river's edge. In her hurry, she slipped and fell tumbling with a splash into the water. Desperately, she tried to turn herself over and scramble to the side, but the water was so fast and the current was so strong, she felt herself being washed down the stream. Help, she called in her small voice. Somebody help. Overhead, a white dove was flying home. She had been decorating her nest and was carrying a large leaf in her beak. She heard the tiny cries for help and swooped down to see what the matter was. She was just in time to see a little ant splashing in the water. Hold on, she cried, I'll help you. Diving down the dove scooped little ant onto the leaf and flew her to the river bank. She tipped the water very carefully out of the leaf. Little ant bowled out onto the dry ground, soaking wet and frightened. Don't worry, little ant, cooked the dove in her soft voice, you're safe. Little ant shook the water off of her ears and smiled up at the white dove. You saved my life, she said. How can I ever thank you? I don't need thanks, said the dove. I'm just happy to be able to help. Kind dove, said Ant. Hope one day I will be able to do something for you. In return, parting way, the dove flew up into the sunny sky and little ant ran happily all the way back home. Little ant was keen to repay the dove kindness. And one day she had her chance. She was scurrying across a field when she overheard two bird catchers talking. One had a pair of pinocles and a bag full of bird seed, and the other was carrying a net. My wife has always wanted a bet dove, said the man with the bird seed, as she as he saw the white dove picking away in the field. We have a nice cage at home that it will feel right at home in. Quickly, the man with the net said, throw the seeds on the ground, then let's hide behind there is bushes. And when the dove comes to eat it, we'll catch it in the net. When little Aunt Soto being trapped in the net, she knew she had to be brave to the rescue. She cried running to forward as thought she was charging into battle. Little Aunt ran straight up to the foot of the man with the net over the dove. The man was wearing summer sandals and no socks. One of his big hairy toes peeked out 
of the end right in front of little Anne's face. Perfect, she thought, then opened her mouth as wide as she could. She bit the man hard and fast on his toe. Ow! yelled the man with the net hopping about on one foot. Ow, ow, ow! It hurts so much! He dropped the net and dove wiggled free. Thank you, little ant, she called as she flew into the air. Thank you, brave little ant, smiled and waved to dove. Then she scurried away as fast as she could. Go, you saved my life. The dove told the ant when she landed in the next field. Just as you once saved mine, replied little ant, finally happy to have repaid the dove, the kind dove. The aim of the story is the grateful heart will always find a way to show its gratitude. The end.